Some, sometimes you just have to take the loss. Trading isn't always about making money. It's, it's about optimization and about reducing your exposure to price risk. As LNG traders, you are exposed to these markets, these relationships, the relationship between Brent and TTF, the relationship between TTF and JKM. You're exposed to those. If you want to monetize your assets or optimize your assets, you have to be aware that when Brent does this, and you're buying Brent-related cargoes, and TTF does that, because you're selling that gas into a TTF related market that you lose value that and when you instead of looking at them in isolation if you plot them on a chart and that's zero and this is Brent below TTF and this is Brent above TTF you would obviously clearly always like to be buying Brent cargoes when they're a discount to the equivalent TTF position, but that's not always possible. You might have to be trading the Brent, effectively buying Brent and selling TTF at this level. But you'd rather sell it at this level than this level, right? Or this level, or this level. And sometimes it's about, and trading is not always about making money, sometimes it's just about minimizing your loss. You're having to buy Brent cargoes. If you're buying Brent related cargoes now, we were talking about it last night, weren't we, Sarench? Yeah. If you're buying Brent related cargoes last night, what price are you paying for them in a fixed price world, roughly? Seven, eight, nine dollars. Where's TTF currently? Below that or above that? Below that. Below that, right? Five, six dollars. You're having to lock in a loss effectively, but you hope that at some point before you actually have to deliver those cargoes, that maybe you get an opportunity to sell it into Asia for a premium, but that might not happen. And the spread between those markets might change such that the spread is not minus two or positive two Brent above TTF, that it goes to positive three or four or five. Well, that's much worse than plus two. So the reason we get you to play that game is because really a LNG portfolio is all about the relationship between the spread between commodities or gas markets, one of the two, between Brent and a gas market or between different gas markets. And you have to have a view on those markets. Otherwise, you're, you're just price takers. You're, just, you're not traders. You're just supplying into a market at a given point in time. You're not optimizing in any respect. It's kind of like, so what do you do, right? So you're in a situation where you have to buy brand and you have to sell TTF. Yeah. Obviously, you're making a loss. And it's about minimizing the loss. But you're still making a loss. So what do you do to overcome that? Do you then, I mean, unless you can divert it to Asia, <coughs> for instance, what do you do? I mean, do you Well, sometimes you can't do anything, right? <coughs> Some, sometimes you just have to take the loss. But I'd rather the loss be minus two than minus five. And if you leave it to delivery effectively, if you don't manage it on a forward basis before you get there, and by the time you get to load your cargo, Brent related, the price you end up paying because Brent's been going up for the last three months is $9. And by the time you actually deliver into the TTF market, because there's no bids in Asia, you have to sell at $3 because the TTF market has collapsed because there is an overwhelming amount of LNG in the world and every single storage site in the whole of Northwest Europe is absolutely jam-packed full of storage and the Russians are just pumping gas to keep market share. You, you're losing six dollars now, whereas you had the opportunity to only lose two if you'd done something about it earlier. And I, I can't sort of stress this enough. Trading isn't always about making money. It's, it's about optimization and about reducing your exposure to price risk. And you could have probably done something about it on a forward, you know, before we got to this point. This is kind of well, I don't have any choice now. I know that the price I'm paying for my cargo is nine and I'm having to sell it at three because I, 
I have to lift the I have to lift the cargo. There's nothing else for me to do. And you probably you might always you might come back and think, well, see, I knew I should just sell all of this stuff on long-term contracts and not be involved in trading at all. But that is the decision that your organisations have to make. That that's a strategic decision. Not, but to the extent you're involved in trading, it's about optimization and making the best of a, of a position that you have. And sometimes you'll be able to leverage that position to make a lot of money. Sometimes you'll just minimize losses. And you might choose not to do anything. That's fine. That's not a problem. You don't have to do anything with them. But first of all, understand if you're buying Brent related, you are short Brent. You're short oil. If you're buying Brent related LNG, you're short oil. And you're clearly long gas because you own LNG. You will get LNG, you'll get natural gas. So you have an oil to gas position or you have a gas to gas position if you're buying Henry Hub related selling somewhere else.